things off live from the Rogers Arena, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, WWE Vengeance, Sunday night, May the 14th, 2023, that with the Cruiserweight Championship of the World on the line. It is going to be an action-packed night, and we are wasting no time kicking things off. The Emperor of Lucha Libre, the leader of Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar. Escobar earning himself another Cruiserweight Championship opportunity, defeating the champion's son, Dominic Mysterio, a few weeks ago on SmackDown in that epic grudge match. And this is, of course, a rematch from WrestleMania Saturday back in February. Santos Escobar, all throughout March and April, has been chomping at the bit to earn another opportunity at the Master of the 619. The man who hit him with that very 619 and knocked his lights out on the biggest show of the year, Rey Mysterio. Again, back in February on WrestleMania Saturday. These two men tore down the house in Tampa Bay, Florida all those months ago. Fast forward to tonight. We are live, Vengeance, Vancouver, Canada, and the prestigious Cruiserweight Championship of the World that has been held by so many greats. The champion himself, Rey Mysterio, Dean Malenko, Chris Jericho, Eddie Guerrero. The list goes on and on. Santos Escobar looking to add his name to that hat yet again tonight. But he's got to keep down the greatest mask of all time. The reigning and defending cruiserweight champion of the world who's been on the ride of a lifetime since winning the gold yet again back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. So far in his championship reign, Ray has defeated the one and only Ricochet not once but twice. He has retained the gold over Humberto Carrillo, over Axiom, and of course the matchup at WrestleMania against Santos Escobar. Rey Mysterio, a decorated athlete throughout his Hall of Fame career. This isn't his first rodeo as the Cruiserweight Champion. He went back to his roots in the Cruiserweight division, won the gold as we mentioned back at the Royal Rumble at the top of the year, and has been a defending champion ever since. We speculated on SmackDown that had Santos Escobar truly just stepped up and challenged Ray to a rematch, Rey Mysterio very well may have accepted. But Santos Escobar, so in his own mind, so upset that Rey Mysterio defeated him at WrestleMania, he wanted to go through Dominic. When Dominic wanted to get his hands on Escobar, there was a big, big time score to settle on SmackDown between those two. And at the end of the night, Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar earning himself said opportunity. It's going to be a great matchup to kick things off in Vengeance. you got to wonder Rey Mysterio's condition. Just 48 hours after that matchup with Legado's Cruz del Toro on SmackDown. A successful one for Rey. It was a grueling cruiserweight bout all the way through. Is he out 100% tonight heading into this bout with Santos Escobar? We're going to find out in moments. Cruiserweight Championship of the World is on the line here tonight in Vancouver. Let's send things down to the ring for your official match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. And his opponent from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds. He is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Rey Mysterio! It was one year ago at this time that Santos Escobar was on top of the Cruiserweight division as its champion. And ever since then, ever since he lost the gold last June, Escobar has slowly but surely been trying to get back into contention and regain the gold. Will Escobar become a three-time Cruiserweight Champion here tonight in Vancouver? Or is the reign of the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio, set to roll on past Vengeance? It's going to be an action-packed night, seven huge matches. The first one kicking us off, representing Friday Night SmackDown. WrestleMania rematch, you gotta wonder, Santos Escobar as he immediately takes out Rey and goes for the quick cover on Mysterio. Mysterio gets the shoulder up. Gotta wonder how many times Escobar has watched back that bout from WrestleMania and has tried to learn what he did wrong in that match. Learn from his mistakes. And trying not to make the same tonight here at Vengeance. 
Same thing goes for Rey Mysterio. Has he watched back the match against Santos Escobar at WrestleMania? Has Rey tried to change up his strategy to throw off the Emperor of Lucha Libre? We'll find that out as this matchup progresses, but so far Escobar all over the Cruiserweight Champion of the World, and he sends him to the outside of the ring. Rey Mysterio now trying to cut off Escobar, and Rey sends Santos back inside the squared circle. They're going to keep things inside the ropes tonight. It's the match for the 619, at least so far. Well, thank you for joining us. We are live here tonight. Rogers Arena, Vancouver, Canada, continuing on our Canadian tour. It's been a great week already here in the WWE. Well, thank you for joining us live here at Vengeance. Mysterio off the tornado. DDT follows it up with a drop kick there. Almost said basement drop kick, but not necessarily. Santos takes an A against the boots right to the side of the head. Mysterio not able to put Escobar away just yet, and I think he knows that, but trying to get in the psyche of his challenger tonight. And Mysterio knows that it was not an easy task to retain the Cruiserweight title back in Tampa Bay at WrestleMania. It was a hard-fought matchup on both ends. As Escobar now to the outside, and the tide is shifting as Rey Mysterio, your Cruiserweight champion, is now in control. And here comes Rey! Oh my goodness! Tornado DDT through the ropes and to the outside! What a maneuver by the Cruiserweight Champion who has taken Escobar off his game. Do not count out the Champion of the World, Rey Mysterio. Escobar trying to get back into the ring on Mysterio's tails, but Rey not having none of it. Nice pop-up Frankensteiner and Rey. Smart to go in the cover there. No Santos might have his eggs scrambled off that Tornado GDT, but Escobar hangs in another moment. As we mentioned, Rey Mysterio is making his entrance a few minutes ago. What is the condition of Rey? Just 48 hours after that grueling matchup with Cruz del Toro on SmackDown! Escobar stacking up Mysterio with one of his best maneuvers, but not just yet as Rey gets the shoulder up. Escobar going for the kill early. The Rey Mysterio, as tough as they come. The biggest little man in WWE history, a heart a size of gold. Now it's Rey Mysterio on the outside of the ring. A little bit of roll reversal here as Rey is on spaghetti legs, and here comes Escobar, the suicide dive through the ropes, taking out the Cruiserweight Champion. We have never once doubted the abilities of Santos Escobar, a Cruiserweight Champion one time in NXT. Won the title for a second time one year ago at Backlash, was holding it during this time last year, looking to become a three-time champion here tonight. Escobar off that suicide dive, and those maneuvers inside the squared circle Taking control and a suplex on the outside of the ring. And it's little things like that, taking things to the outskirts of the squared circle that Escobar has incorporated in his blueprint tonight to try to throw off the game of the Cruiserweight Champion, but Ray meets him with an enziguri. This guy's got to be careful here. Referee is at a count of six. Would hate to see this Cruiserweight Championship high-profile matchup go to a double count out. Remains to be seen. Escobar down. Rey Mysterio back inside the squared circle. Wait a minute. Rey Mysterio over the top rope. Cross body takes down the challenger. Cruiserweight action at its finest here tonight to kick things off live from Vancouver. Nobody does universe mode live premiere pay-per-view events quite like us on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar showing us why. Escobar trying to make his way back into the side of the ring and really just trying to regroup right now as the Cruiserweight Champion has had an answer for everything Escobar has thrown at him so far. Oh, there's a whiplash. Vicious. Nothing pretty about that. Just an effective maneuver by Escobar. Mysterio survives, but definitely some damage done off that whiplash. Here comes Santos dropping a leg on Ray. The Cruiserweight Champion is now underneath the control of Santos Escobar. Mysterio trying to shake the cobwebs off. Escobar missed that kick. Wait a minute, Escobar going for a powerbomb position. Mysterio flips out with it. Frankensteiner, stack up. What was a West Coast pop variation? Not a maneuver we see at a rave very often anymore, but definitely a variation inside the squared circle. Beautiful counter by Ray. May not have gotten the victory, but certainly got the momentum back on his side. Oh, look at this. Mysterio scaling the ropes. Drop kicked Escobar. These two Lucha Libre legends leaving it all inside the squared circle tonight. Rey Mysterio not looking to leave without the gold he walked in with. 
the Cruiserweight Championship that he has held loud and proud since January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. Bulldog! Now right into the cover on Santos Escobar. Will that do it? Not just yet as Escobar kicks out again. Rey Mysterio thought he had the challenger there. That was a beautiful maneuver on the ropes. Men Santos Escobar with that missile drop kick and the springboard bulldog, but still not a combination that was able to keep down the man they call the Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar. Nice counter by Escobar off that kick. Wait a minute, Santos may have caught Ray! Phantom Driver, dead center of the ring! Mysterio kicks out! Escobar throwing his best shot at the Cruiserweight Champion, but Ray Mysterio has seen worst. Vancouver, Canada loving the performance by these two luchadors, and Escobar is not done. Roy kicks out of the Phantom Driver, but now Santos has got him. Fireman's carry position on the middle buckle. Oh, it drops Rey Mysterio. Rib cage first on the top rope. The win's gotta be knocked out of the champion. Phantom Driver number two. Escobar, no waste in motion, into the cover. And Santos Escobar has become a three-time WWE Cruiserweight Champion of the World. That was one hell of a contest to kick things off here from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. WWE Vengeance. Rey Mysterio gave it all he had, but Escobar had the blueprint to dethrone the Cruiserweight Champion here tonight. Here is your winner. The Blue Brands Cruiserweight division now has a new here to the throne. The Emperor of Lucha Libre, the leader of Legado del Fantasma. He may have a smug attitude, but he's got what it takes from bell to bell. And Santos Escobar is leaving Vancouver, a three-time WWE Cruiserweight Champion of the World. What a matchup to kick things off. Much more to come here tonight in Vancouver at WWE Vengeance. Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th, witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash.